Okay, we have been working on using a denominator of a hundred in order to solve four percent. Okay, so this is our last example. I'm going to go back in my notes and it says for cubes, I'm going to circle the numbers. Okay. So, circle the numbers. And then I'm going to underline the question. It's a little bit blurry, there, I'm sorry. Oops. Okay. Underline the question and block the math words. And there's not any eliminating unnecessary information because it is necessary. So write, and we're going to write this as a decimal and as a percent. Okay. So the first thing I need to do is now get my rips page. And I cannot seem to find it, so I'm going to do it here. I've read the question. And the important information is 13 over 25. Okay, so I guess that's 13 25ths, I should say. My plan, well, I'm going to see if I can... Can I make an equivalent fraction with a denominator of 100? Okay, so. I need to do my fact family, right? Okay, so let's see. Let's try to do it this way. So one and a hundred. Two times 50. Can I get there by three? No. Can't get there by three. Oh, by four. Four quarters are in a dollar. And looky here, there's my 25. So I can do that. So I'm gonna come over here. And I know I need to have a denominator of 100. And if I do 25 times four, I can do that. What I do in the denominator, I do in the numerator. So I'm going to do 13 times 4. Okay. And it comes up to 52 hundredths. Okay. So as a decimal, I can say 52 hundredths. I'm not going to trust myself, though. I'm going to make my place value chart. Okay. These are my tenths, my hundredths. And my ones would be over here, okay? Yep, I wrote it correctly. And as a percent, it would be 52%, okay? So that is number nine of our lesson four.
part two, guided instruction.